I thought, my father, said Lucy, excusing herself with a pale face and in a faltering voice, that I heard strange feet upon the stairs. My love, the staircase is as still as death. As he said the word, a blow was struck upon the door. Oh, father, father, what can this be? Hide, Charles, save him. My child, said the doctor, rising and laying his hand upon her shoulder, I have saved him. What weakness is this, my dear? Let me go to the door. He took the lamp in his hand, crossed the two intervening outer rooms and opened it. A rude clattering of feet over the floor, and four rough men in red caps, armed with sabers and pistols, entered the room. The citizen Evermont called Darnay, said the first. Who seeks him, answered Darnay. I seek him. We seek him. I know you, Evermont. I saw you before the tribunal today. You are again the prisoner of the Republic. So here, on the same day that he's been released, Charles, spending a night with his family, celebrating his release and his freedom, is going to be arrested again. Picking up at the four. The four surrounded him, where he stood with his wife and child clinging to him. Tell me how and why am I again a prisoner? It is enough that you return straight to the conciergerie and will know tomorrow. You are summoned for tomorrow. Dr. Manette, whom this visitation had so turned into stone that he stood with the lamp in his hand, as if be woe a statue made to hold it, moved after these words were spoken, put the lamp down, and confronting the speaker, and taking him, not urgently, by the loose front of his red woolen shirt, said, You know him, you have said. Do you know me? Yes, I know you, citizen doctor. We all know you, citizen doctor, said the other three. He looked abstractly from one to another and said in a lower voice after a pause, Will you answer this question to me then? How does this happen? Citizen doctor, said the first reluctantly, he has been denounced to the section of St. Antoine. This citizen, pointing out the second who had entered, is from St. Antoine. So what we have here, what we find out, Dr. Manette asks, how did this happen? How is he getting arrested again? And one of the men says he's been denounced, meaning he has been accused by someone in St. Antoine. And then he points to one of the guys. Picking up with the citizen. The citizen here indicated his nod, indicated nodded his head and added, he is accused by St. Antoine. Of what? asked the doctor. Citizen doctor, said the first, with his former reluctance, ask no more. If the Republic demands sacrifices from you, without doubt you as a good patriot will be happy to make them. The Republic goes before all. The people is supreme. Evermond, we are pressed. One word, the doctor entreated. Will you tell me who denounced him? It's against the rule, answered the first, but you can ask him of St. Antoine here. The doctor turned his eyes upon that man, who moved uneasily on his feet, rubbed his beard a little, and at length said, Well, truly it is against rule, but he is denounced, and gravely denounced, by the citizen and citizeness Defarge, and by one other. What other? Do you ask, citizen doctor? Yes. Then said he of St. Antoine with a strange look, you will be answered tomorrow. Now I am dumb. And so what we find out at the end of this chapter is that he's been announced, Darnay has been announced by three people. Two of them are the Defarges. The third one, we don't know who it is yet. Um, it, is, it is held in suspense as to who else has denounced um, Charles Darnay. And that's the end of chapter seven.